they've had a 45 minute chill out and a holiday um, so then what we are going to be doing is setting up our car laboratory each one of these circles is one of our big black buckets we've got here what we want to be doing is first of all decontaminating our buckets and also our safety gloves <laughs> the basket of live rocks and you're going to come and put them in the first two uh, buckets that we've next bucket along is where we're going to take our essentially the entire mesh bag of corals and just put the whole bag in the bucket like that there is a few bits of plastic trash and stuff so we'll empty all of those out but as long as our corals are still sealed inside their bags we can put as much stuff in this one as possible yeah. because our little corals are still in um, in their ocean bag we are going to be actually cutting our coral up they are actually called bone cutters because we borrowed them from the hospital trade by the end of it. Um, but yeah, so we're using these ones to cut our little corals into fragments probably about this size to anything around this size. That's that bit. The next thing that we have got is our super glue. So again, very, very basic super glue that we get from the hub. Um, it is super duper glue. So this one is going to glue anything to anything within about 20 seconds. As soon as we combine the glue with the catalyst, this means the glue is going to dry within two or three seconds. Um, so yeah, that one is acting as an enhancement to the glue. Good glue. Also inside it, we've got some nutrients as well. So it's going to enhance the growth of the corals in their first few weeks because we've cut them, because we've stuck them and we've done all these things. They might momentarily for a week or so actually start to bleach different coral species and then try and find it on this. If we're struggling to find the polyp size, shape or formation, um, then we have a super cool little magnifying glass back over. So inside our coral bucket, we've got our two corals that we've taken from the ocean. We've got our coral cutters. We've got our super glue. We've got our little syringe full of uh, coral catalyst. So next bucket along is our propagation station. So we're going to be taking one live rock and moving it over to our prop station. We're gonna select which coral we want to cut first and then start cutting it into lots of little fragments like this. Through the art of gluing and putting everything together, we've got our final little coral over here. Once we've finished an entire coral, we're gonna then put that bucket under the table so it doesn't get too hot in the sun. And then we repeat again and then again.
It looks a bit more like this one, but when we look at the polyps, it's more. So each one of these lines here is yeah. one single polyp. And then this is the coralite, where the polyp lives inside. So the actual polyp is where we can see all the tentacles coming out. That's each of the polyps. So these ones, you might be able to see the polyp right there, but it lives in this coral cup, which is oh. its skeleton. Little bit of time in the water and then um, see if it will harden up then. So now check your other one, your first one. But what we are hoping for is that when we cut it, oh, yeah, it's blue. you'll only know that when it's dead or when you see the inside. So we get quite a lot of blue coral actually on the beach. That's probably the perfect size. Sometimes we can plant them like this, but because the line is always a bit jaggedy, it's quite tough. So then what we would generally do is lay it flat, and these bits here are going to be the ones focused on the growth. Can I have this one? Of course. Yeah. That's why it's called a blue coral, because of the blue size. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Yeah, it's just a, it's something different. Whenever we spend so much time you know, doing nothing on the water, yeah. This one. So, uh, yeah, this one. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi guys. Can I take some video? <laughs> so, one more day. One more dive. One more dive. We and you'll be certified. And then we'll be certified. <laughs> when are you going to going back to Brisbane? Uh, next Friday. Next Friday, Friday, you say. Staying low. Hey, ma'am, how are you? Good, good. Are you good? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Nice meeting you guys. Lovely to meet you too. Hi. You are certified now? Not yet. One more dive. <laughs> okay. One more dive and then we'll do it. Okay, that's a good, that's a good. Enjoy. Nick, how are you, Nick? So I'm done with the course. <laughs> Thank you very much.